Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Timster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add camera movement or make the camera sort of bob up and down while your player is moving forward. So I have an example file here. If I press P and move forward, you'll notice there's a very subtle sort of bobbing up and down. And then if I press down the shift key as well, you'll notice I start sprinting and the camera starts bobbing down a lot more. So, this should be a fairly short and simple tutorial. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing we want to do is click File New and open up a new blend file. I'm going to press X and delete the cube here. Then, I'm going to press Shift A and add a plane. Then, I'm going to press S to make it big and we'll just scale it until it's a nice big size, something like that. Then, you can call it Floor if you like. I'll just call it floor, then up the top here change it to blender game then under your render settings, the little camera here will change it to DLSL and a animation frame rate of 60 then I'm gonna give it a material, so we're gonna go to the materials tab, click new turn off specular, you can turn off back facing if you want to then I'm gonna give it a texture, so image or movie UV and then I'm gonna just open up a texture from my downloads, so just a grass texture so something like that then down here I'm gonna select texture view and I'm gonna select my lamp here and change it to hemi so we can see everything then with my plane selected I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode then press U and unwrap and there we go that should project the texture onto that then I'm gonna make a new window here select UV image editor and then press S to scale and make it nice and big so something around that if not bigger and also if you want to you can press R to sort of rotate the texture and make it look a bit different okay so we can go back in this window and press tab to go into object mode then I'm going to join those two windows back into one and now in the description will be a download link for an FPS template so go ahead and download that if you don't have it already then I'm going to go file append or shift F1 and find my file then once you've found the file click on it and then go into object and we want to have the body then hold down shift and select the camera feet and head as well then we'll click link and append and now we don't need our old camera anymore so we can select it press X and delete now we'll select our new camera and in the name we can just call it camera we can delete the 01 because there's only one of it then I'm gonna press numpad 0 and if you press P you should be able to walk around and also look around with your mouse okay so up the top here we're gonna change it to game logic then we're going to change it back to textures as well and move it along a bit here so now if I press numpad 0 again and make myself a new window down the bottom here change it to timeline make sure my cursor is on frame 0 then I'm gonna press I insert location then I'm gonna press GZ to move on the Z axes move it down a bit just a bit not too much and then click and then press I insert location and now we want to duplicate this keyframe on frame 0 all the way to frame 30 so here we're gonna change it to graph editor and then I'm going to go to frame 0, press A to deselect everything in here, Control K for the selected keyframe, and then Shift D G X uh, 30. And that should move it to frame 30 over here, a duplicate. So now if you scroll along, you'll notice your character sort of ducks down, and that might already be a little bit too much. So we're going to go to frame 15 here. Then I'm going to press GZ and move it up just a bit. And then press I insert location. And now if we scroll along, it's a little bit more subtle. So then under our camera, we're going to add an action actuator called walk. And this is going to be the camera action. It's going to start at frame 0, end at frame 30 and we can turn off continue or you can leave it on and the priority here is going to be number two so it's not as important as the next action we'll be doing so for the next action it's going to be the running or sprinting so that's going to go from frame 30 to frame 50 so then I'm going to go to frame 40 halfway and then press GZ and move it down quite a bit so maybe something like that and then press I insert location 
Then I'm going to go to frame 30 because I want to duplicate that again and then back into the graph editor window here. Um, I'm going to press A to deselect and then making sure you're on frame 30 I'm going to press Control K and then Shift D G X 20 and that should give us a new keyframe over here at frame 50. Then here I'm going to give the camera another action actuator this one's going to be called Run and then I'm going to select camera action again but this time it's going to start at frame 30 and end at frame 50. This time also the priority is going to be number 1 instead of number 2 and you can turn off continue or leave it on. Uh, I'm just going to turn it off for both of them. Now we are going to go out of our camera view and make sure you can see the feet and the camera at the same time. Then we're going to hold down shift and right click on that to select it. Then with the feet and the camera selected, we'll have to make sure that our W sensor here is on true. And you can also do that for all the other ones, like so. And the last one. And then this top one here, we're going to join it to walk. And the bottom one, we're going to join it to run. So now if we press numpad 0 and then press P, if we walk forward, there's a sort of bobbing animation for walking forward. And then if we hold down shift, we can see it bobs down a whole lot more and it looks like our character is running. Now the walking one is still a bit too sort of obvious for me so I'm going to press numpad 0 again and then I'm going to go to frame 15 and move it up just a bit more and then press I insert location and so now if I press P and try it there we go I'm sort of happy with the um, subtlety of the bobbing for the walking so if you wanted to, you could maybe add a little bit more. So move it down a bit, press I, insert location. And something like that is good. Now for the running, it might be a little bit much. So I'm going to turn that down as well. So to frame 40. And then I'm going to press GZ and move it up a bit. And then press I, insert location. Then I'm going to go to frame 0 and press P. And now it's nice and subtle. And then when we're running, it's very obvious, but it isn't too obvious, and it looks pretty cool. So there we go guys, that's how to get camera bobbing working in the Blender Game Engine, or camera movement. Hope you guys found this helpful, now you can hopefully use it in your own FPS games. But that's basically the end of the tutorial guys, so I hope you found it useful, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one.